Tatiana is one of the great mysteries of La Casa de Papel. Classical pianist, jewel thief and romantic couple from Berlin, she is introduced to the professor in episode 6 of part 3, everything seemed insignificant. In a flashback that takes place about 5 years before the assault on the central bank of Spain. But before that do subscribe our channel for more videos. Pardon? She's a thief and apparently a good one. Piano and jewels, my two specialties. <laughs> By the way, she loves the Bank of Spain heist. I told her about it. Leaving the professor in a panic, Berlin defends the beloved, revealing that they spent months stealing in Europe and that they never had any problems. Look, let me tell you about Tatiana. We spent 14 hours in a disgusting basement digging a tunnel. And we made love like to which the professor responds by creating the first great rule of the assault. In episode 6 of part 3, this memory serves to contrast the events of the present and the personal emotional relationships of the teacher. My, my thoughts haven't been clouded by feelings. Look, let me tell you about Tatiana. It was enough for fans to create several theories about the mysterious character, even raising the possibility that Tatiana, played by Diana Gomez, would be the younger version of Inspector Alicia Sierra. The theory, however, does not make much sense, since only five years have passed since his first meeting with the professor at the monastery and the assault on the central bank. Isn't she the most beautiful woman in the world? Not to mention that no character from La Casa de Papel is experienced by different actors between the moments of the past and the present. There are also theories about Tatiana being an assailant infiltrated among the hostages. The first episodes of part 4 already rule out the theory that she would be an infiltrated burglar among the hostages there is indeed an undercover person. But connected to the Denver Moscow Corps. The new season features Berlin's wedding to Tatiana, the assailant's fifth, and the party held in the monastery with the professor, Marseille, Bogota and Palermo as guests. Declaring his concerns to Berlin, the professor fears for the young woman's happiness, since her brother has a date to die. Berlin replies that Tatiana knows about her illness and that she will give her the best two or three years of her life until she can possibly betray her. Betrayal is part of love, he says. The flashback speech it has to do with Palermo, the professor himself and the dilemma that will be faced by Lisbon, but again raises the question of Tatiana's role in this story. Did Berlin betray you before the mint robbery bringing the marriage to an end? The man in the first round is certainly not a man in love. Palermo, Marseille and Bogota were also left out of the foreground, why? And as the professor would involve Tatiana in the second plan, would she be interested in honoring her ex-husband? Or is it just the owner of the information that will make Inspector Sierra victorious? The t-shirt she wears on her first meeting with the professor said I will never, 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 never forget which may be indicative of a spiteful person. However, she also had valuable information about the foreground and did not reveal anything to the police at the time. Tatiana won't sell you out. Listen to me. She's a thief. What happens when she has to either turn you in or go to prison? Due to the outcome of part 4, that answer should only come with new episodes of La Casa de Papel. Hope you liked the video. Let us know in the comments and thumbs for this video and we will see you in the next video.